Hello, welcome to the answers round for quiz number four. And we're going to get straight back on with this. So, your first round was on dogs. Question one, which dog breed can run the fastest? That is the Greyhound. It can run up to 45 miles per hour. So, that is the Greyhound for number one. Number two, the earliest European cave drawings were found in Spain. So, humans working alongside dogs in Spain. Number three, the haw, the H-A-W, of a dog is found in the eyes. It's the third eyelid that dogs have to keep their eyes moist. Which is a horrible sentence. Number four, Dachshunds were originally bred to fight badgers. That's literally what Dachshund means if you translate it directly from German. It means badger dog. So if you can speak German, you probably have a bit of a step up and you can probably correct my pronunciation as well. Um, number five, lots of dogs today wear spiked collars and the original reason for that was to protect the dog from a wolf attack. It was first used in ancient Greece. Allow anything along the lines of protection or for hunting. So the specific reason is to protect a dog from a wolf attack, but anything along the lines of protection um, or hunting will be, will be fine as well. Number six, Rin Tin Tin is probably more famous for being an actor than a soldier. So he appeared in lots and lots of silent films. He became a bit of a household name worldwide um, around that particular point in time. Um, and I think he was nominated for an Oscar as well. So Rin Tin Tin, as well as being a soldier in World War One, was also an actor in Hollywood. Number seven, the smallest dog breed is the Chihuahua. That is recognised as the smallest of all the dog breeds, the Chihuahua. And number eight, what is recognised in general as the tallest is the Irish Wolfhound. I will clarify this, a Great Dane holds the world record for being the tallest dog, but on average, a Great Dane is expected to be slightly smaller than an Irish Wolfhound, which is why that is the answer instead of Great Dane. Number nine, bit of a trick question really this one. A key defining characteristic of a Dalmatian puppy, newborn, is the fact that it is perfectly white. No newborn Dalmatians have spots on them at all. They're all perfectly white and then they develop their spots as they age. If you go back and watch 101 Dalmatians, especially the cartoon, they do a, an accurate job of this. They show all the newborn puppies being born as perfectly white. And at number 10, um, any of the top five common names for male dogs, you can have any of these five in order. It will be number one, which is Bailey, number two, which is Max, number three, which is Charlie, number four, Buddy, and number five, Rocky. So Bailey, Max, Charlie, Buddy, or Rocky. If you've got any of those five, then you can give yourself one mark. If anyone has written more than one answer, they're not getting any marks. You're only allowed one, and that's it. Round number two, under the sea. The name for the deepest point of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep. I'll also allow Mariana's Trench because that's where you find the Challenger Deep. And that is the deepest point in the ocean. Which sea is located at the lowest point on Earth? That is the Dead Sea. So the surface of the Dead Sea, before you even get underwater, is already 1,400 feet below sea level. Number three, like I say, if anyone's got this, then pat on the back of you. If you were stranded on Point Nemo, then the nearest people to you would be in the International Space Station. So, just to clarify this, because this is a fun little fact to you all. Point Nemo is the name given to the point which is the furthest away from any landmass. So it's the, it's the furthest away from any coast whatsoever. So technically speaking, the nearest person to at that point would be all the way in space, orbiting the Earth. Which is a fun little fact. Um, number four, sea monsters were drawn on medieval maps to show unexplored areas. So they signified an unexplored area. 
Number five, the Leviathan is the name given to the giant sea serpent found in the Bible. That is the Leviathan. Number six, true or false, a sea chicken exists. That is false. You can have a sea horse, a sea cow, a sea pig, a sea cucumber, but not a sea chicken. Yet. Anyway, this is as of 2020. Maybe someone will have found some species by the time they watch this. Um, number seven, the name for the fear of the sea is thalassophobia. I definitely have thalassophobia and I don't believe any human doesn't. So that is the name for the fear of the sea, just in general. There are different names for the fears that are specific to certain animals or certain objects in the water as well, but thalassophobia for now. Um, number eight. Um, there were 64 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide in 2019. So the answer was the 51 to 100 bracket overall. So 64 unprovoked shark attacks. Number nine, SpongeBob SquarePants, living in Bikini Bottom, is based on Bikini Atoll, which is the name for the location of the nuclear weapons testing site in America. So Bikini Bottom is based on Bikini Atoll. And number 10, like I was saying, if you were confident in your answer for number seven, you got that right, this might help you out. But Pangea is surrounded by Panthalassa. Thalassa is just the Greek word for the sea. And just like if you watched last week's episode on this, the name for Mother Earth is Gaia. Pangaea, Pangea very closely related to the earth and then Panthalassa referring to the, the sea the super ocean at the time alright general knowledge number one which of the following was a palindrome that was kayak a palindrome is a word that if you spell it forwards or backwards it is still spelt the same so if you spell canoe, paddle or boat backwards it clearly wouldn't say the same word whereas kayak it would Number two, the first woman to receive a Nobel Prize was Marie Curie. She actually won it twice, in 1903 for physics and 1911 for chemistry. So Marie Curie for number two. Number three, 4G and 5G, the G in both of those refers to generation. So the G in 4G and 5G is referring to generation. Number four, which of these animals sleeps the most on average per day? That would be the koala at 22 hours per day on average. A sloth in comparison is at 20 hours per day and an armadillo is at 19 hours. So a koala is pretty comfortably winning there, 22 hours. Which famous Briton is on the five pound notes for number five? That is Sir Winston Churchill. Like I was saying before, I'm not allowing the Queen as the answer because she's on all of them. So, Sir Winston Churchill is the answer for number five. Number six, Tiger Roll won the Grand National in 2019. So, Tiger Roll was the answer to number six. Number seven, the fleshy extension at the back of your throat, which is just above your throat itself, is the uvula. I will not allow tonsils and I will not allow epiglottis because they both have separate functions to the uvula. So if you have any of those two answers, I'm afraid it's not right. Number eight, there are four states of matter that are observable to anybody. That is a solid, a liquid, a gas and plasma. People don't often talk about plasma, but that is the fourth observable um, state of matter in everyday life. Number nine, the very first Simpsons episode was broadcast in 1989. It was in December of 1989. And number 10, the largest landlocked country in the world is Kazakhstan. So if you've got Kazakhstan for number 10, then give yourself a mark. And can you make sure you're giving yourself a mark overall out of 30 for this? By all means, pause the video as you are adding these up 
but otherwise I would just carry straight onto the tiebreaker. So in kilometers, how long is the Great Wall of China? That is 21,196 kilometers. So just to read through that again, it is 21,196 kilometers long, the Great Wall of China. So add up your scores out of 30, make sure you are ticking or seeing who was closest for the tiebreaker. And if you are watching this from St. Mary's as well, then by all means record your scores over at the SharePoint. That is on SMC Community. Go into the quiz page and just type in your score in the comment box. As always, it might mean that you have to refresh the page just to make sure it actually works, but that's where you'll find it. On the SharePoint, on Community, on the quiz page, and then just type in your answer in the comment section. And that's it for quiz number four. Have a lovely day.